Hi everyone, it's JoJo with Lakeside Treasures and welcome to my sixth vintage haul video. As you can see, I got a lot of things this weekend. My husband and I spent all day on um, Saturday. This It was so pretty out and thrifting. We went to the flea market, which we didn't get anything at the flea market, but uh, we went to Goodwill and then another resale store. So this is everything I got. I did pick up a couple extra things. I'm thinking about opening up an Etsy shop. Let me know in the comments below. I have done eBay in the past, not as a reseller, but I have sold a couple things that I didn't want here at the house. But I'm thinking that maybe Etsy would be the way to go as far as uh, vintage items. So let me know if you um, have a store or if you sell on Etsy, if that would um, be better than eBay as far as listing the vintage items. So the first thing I got was in a plastic tote and it was actually falling apart. Um, it was really, these are really, really heavy. These are um, made by Corning. It says Corning Decor on the back. I, it's so, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it says dinnerware. There's 18 plates and 20 cups. I paid $6 for all of them. I'm thinking about this might be something that I would uh, consider a listing, but they're so heavy, I would have to break it up into different sets. So I'll have to think about that and how I will do it, but they're really neat. There's no chips or cracks in any of them. The next thing I got was, um, is these uh, 19, I would say 1950s rooster and hen figurines. They're red, black, and white. They do have a couple of chips and some paint loss on them, but I thought they had a lot of character to them. These will go in my kitchen unless I decide, you know, that I don't like the way they look in here, but I really like them. I think they're cute. I pay 79 cents a piece for those. I got these two juice glasses, again, probably 1950s. I pay 79 cents for those. They don't have a manufacturer's mark on them, so I will probably go through uh, my reference book that I talked about in one of my videos, the decorated tumbler, and see if I can't find those in there. I got this um, Libby's Golden Foliage Ice Bucket. I paid $3.29 for that, and that would definitely go in my bar collection. If I'm going through any of these too fast, um, just let me know. I just have so much, so I was just trying to get to everything so that the video wasn't all drawn out. But if you have any questions about anything, just leave it for me in the comments. This is a bird figurine. It's made by... Um, Wes Goble, it's the great, um, the great tip mouse. I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. It says Lang to nineteen sixty six. Um, West Goble, West Germany, and one of the hobbies we like to do as a family is bird watch. So um, the husband was excited when I got that. These two little farmer boys are really neat. They're stackable child's um, plate set. There's a plate a mug, and a bowl. This one here is in perfect condition. The other one does have a few condition issues. I paid $4.99 for both of them. They're from a company called Interpure, I-N-T-E-R-P-U-R, and um, these are something I would definitely consider listing. Uh, they're super cute, and I think that there's definitely someone out there who might be looking for these. I believe they're 1970s. The next thing I got is this Francoma, and this is my only piece I have, this Francoma. It's a great mid-century pottery. It was $6.99, but it was half off, and so I paid $3.50, and it's a soup bowl. <clears throat> I found a Russell Wright um, creamer to go with my plates and my cups that you saw in my, I think it was my second vintage haul video. I paid $1.79 for that. Then I got this 1950s cow creamer. I've seen this in the antique store. I've never picked it up. And so when I saw it at the Goodwill for $2.99, I decided to get it. I got a couple of Betty Crocker cookbooks also at the Goodwill. Paid $1.29 for each. It's a book all about cookies. I can't wait to look through these. And this one's called Dinner, Dinner in a Dish. I'm going to go over here. This might be my favorite thing that I picked up. Well, actually, it's kind of a set. I paid, let's see, I think I paid two. Yes, $2 for each of these pieces. But this is a cake, a cake plate, a cake stand. If you can see, it has a little foot on it. 
is made by Indian Glass. It took me a little bit to find these online. It's a fleur de lis, and it does have an etched flower design in there. And then I also got, these were all on the same shelf. They were stacked on top of each other, actually. $2 for this is the bowl, the matching bowl, Indiana Glass Fleur de Lis. And then I found this um, serving plate. It doesn't have the design around it like the Fleur de Lis, but it has the same exact etching pattern. So I'm going to assume it's Indiana Glass too. Each one of them is two bucks a piece, and I'm really excited to use those. Those are so pretty. I found another cake stand. This is Jeanette glass. It's a green depression glass. Um, and it has a little sunflower design on it. That one was a little bit higher. That one was $5. But I thought that was really cute. I found one piece of jewelry. And I'm not sure the exact age on this. I just know I had bought a necklace that had the jade in it. It's not real gold. There's no marking or anything on it. But it's real dainty. Let's see if I can get it to lay here. It's real dainty. And it has five of these jade stones on it. The only problem with this one is... Oh, and I paid $1.79 for that. The only problem, the little right there is bent. So I'm going to see if my husband will, will help me straighten that out. And the last thing I found, and I really need help if anyone has any idea about this, it was just, I just got it, it's $1.59. It's a, it does have obviously condition issues. It's an old box. I'm not sure of the, the year this was made or anything. It has a, like a Victorian woman, maybe a, a teacher and a child or a mother and a child. The inside is like a silk material. The paper, you can see, goes all the way around. And then um, it's definitely wood because you can see the, um, the wood showing through there. But on the bottom is this little tiny tag and it says over 60. So I don't know if that means it's over 60 years old. I'm not sure. So let me know what you think about that. Um, it's pretty, I just I was just drawn to the picture on the front and I thought, oh, you know, for $1.59, I'll do some research and, um, and see. So if anybody has any ideas what, how old that would be, anything about it, if it's a jewelry trinket box, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. So that is everything that I found. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will be back to make another one soon. Thanks so much.